crucial DNA data collected, analyzed, and used in important criminal cases spanning more than a decade is now facing scrutiny in Colorado. And now the concern infamous murderers and others could be released from prison after it was revealed that decades of this DNA evidence may have been compromised. Questions are swirling after an internal review found DNA was omitted tampered with and improperly documented in more than 650 cases between 2008 and 2023. We do want to bring in now Weld County, Colorado, Colorado District Attorney Michael Rourke on this. Michael, thanks for making the time tonight. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Uh, Michael, let's start with when you first found out about this and what your reaction was. Sure, we were first notified, we being the elected district attorneys here in Colorado, that they had these, the Colorado Bureau of Investigation had, had identified these anomalies in this forensic uh, scientist work. We were first notified on November 6th of 2023. And of course, our first thought was she has worked on thousands upon thousands of cases in Colorado. What's the scope of this? What's the impact going to be? on our pending cases and, and past cases that we've obtained convictions in. I mean, have you ever seen something like this before? How shocking and, and wide reaching is this? This is beyond anything that I think any of us have ever seen. Um, it, it goes well beyond um, perhaps simple mistakes in the laboratory to what is being identified to us as knowing conduct on her part. Why do you think she did this? What needs to be done now? You know, the, the the why, the answer to the question of why is, is still up in the air. We don't know because the elected DAs in Colorado, we still don't have the details of exactly what happened. We've received a generalized description of the anomalies, to use that word again, that's what CBI calls it, but we don't know the specifics. We don't know if it was done out of um, efficiency, if there was some other reason for it, but really we're just waiting to get that information so that we can evaluate our cases both past and present. Yeah, I know you've talked about the frustration here over the timeliness of communication and meanwhile everything's in limbo. How many cases does this impact in your jurisdiction alone? I know we talked about the 650 in total and how do you move forward from this? She has testified in hundreds of cases in my jurisdiction over the course of you know, the, the entirety of her career, almost 30 years. They have identified 85 cases in my jurisdiction that have these anomalies. That, and I keep using that word because that's all we've been told. But 85 cases in my jurisdiction alone um, have had some sort of impact because of her omissions or, or knowing conduct. Yeah, there are two important questions coming out of what you just said uh, there. Bottom line, do you believe that murderers and criminals could be released from prison because of all of this? I wouldn't go that far. It's certainly a possibility that our convictions may be in jeopardy, but certainly hopefully we would have the opportunity to retry those defendants if we get to that point. But I really do want to emphasize, we don't know the specifics yet, and, and it may impact the testimony that she had previously given in court. It may not, um, but, but we need to reserve judgment until we can get all those details and all that information, and we're still waiting for that. Yeah, and the other important question coming out of that, do you believe it's possible that innocent people could be sitting in prison right now because of this? We've been told by the Colorado Bureau of Investigation that these um, omissions or, or other um, uh, missteps that she took did not result in any false positive identifications. It did not result in any um, improper identifications. But again, I, I just don't know the answer to that question as I sit here tonight, Natasha. What kind of consequences could she be facing in the future? Do you know? Sure, certainly there is an ongoing criminal investigation by a neighboring uh, district attorney's office, the as well as a, a um, investigative um, law enforcement agency from outside the state. Um, certainly this could impact accreditation. It could impact um, cases like we talked about, and there could be civil ramifications as well. Yeah, and very quickly, I, I understand that this happened um, as the result of a fairly routine audit. Are you concerned that this could be happening in any other states, or does this seem like a one-off, very bizarre case to you? It's not a one-off because we've already identified one other scientist um, in the northern Colorado area who had, certainly not to this uh, scope, but also had um, some other anomalies in her work as well. So we, we have some real digging that we need to do in the state of Colorado for sure. Wow. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.